children after completing four chapters now today we will move to the fifth chapter that is presentation of data now previously you have learnt about classification of data and before that you have learnt about collection of data you know the importance of these two types of or two methods of uh, interpreting data and the statistical tools what are used in collection and classification of data that we have done earlier and i'm sure by now you must have understood that what is basically statistics and you must be very much interested now that what are the different ways to present the statistics because now you must have developed so much of interest in this that you know that whatever you have collected you must be curious to know how to present the collected data now here in this chapter we will be moving to presentation as you know presentation is very important in everybody's life as the word denotes presentation means presenting anything in a proper systematic form or you can say in an attractive manner and presentation you know that is the core of attracting people towards your study or towards your analysis now you must have heard earlier it is said that a thing of beauty is a joy for ever isn't it now what does that mean this means that anything which is beautiful that is always admired or liked by people so same way here if you are presenting the data in a beautiful manner in a very attractive manner so that people are able to understand it clearly then definitely it is going to make an impact in their mind and they'll be interested in going in detail of it now another example i'll give you suppose you go to a market for shopping or you want to purchase garments for yourself if you enter a shop here in the shop you find that the garments are spread all over the table in a haphazard manner and there's no proper systematic order of selection of uh, garments of your size or of your choice what will be your reaction you will get irritated and you will not you would not like to buy anything from there and maybe you will move out in few seconds why because the garments were not presented properly in a systematic order and that was a pain for you or that was time consuming for you uh, to select the garment according to your choice or according to your size now suppose you go to another shop and there as you enter the shop you find that garments are put in a systematic order different size garments are labeled properly and they are put in different shelf or they are displayed properly similarly different color size garments are displayed on other side properly and clearly everything is labeled what will be your reaction then you will spend more time over there and maybe you will buy more things whatever you planned earlier because you are attracted towards their presentation right so in this way children presentation of anything remember presentation of any form either anything or data or presenting yourself these are very very important in your life and i think you'll keep this in mind okay now after understanding the importance of presentation now let us move to the topic presentation of data here we are concerned about the presentation of statistical data in statistics now there are four methods of presenting data in a systematic order or in a proper beautiful order we can present the data in four ways one is textual presentation second is tabular presentation third is diagrammatic presentation and fourth is graphical presentation now we'll take each one in detail but in this chapter we are concerned only only with the 
tabular presentation. In rest of the chapter, I will tell you how to present the data with the help of diagrams or how to present the data with the help of graph. Okay. So, in this chapter, we will be doing tabular presentation. Now, you must be thinking what is textual presentation and why we are not dealing with this. Now, textual presentation is a form of presentation in which the data is presented in a descriptive form, in a text form or in a descriptive form. Now, there is no special way to present the data in the text form. The only thing is that you should be little precise. But textual presentation has its limitation because if the data is too large, then this type of presentation is not suitable because that will need a lot of explanation, right? And if the data is less, then only textual presentation can be used. Now, I'll give you the example for this. All of you must be reading newspaper, right? And in the newspaper, sometimes you must have read that with the help of data, the explanation is given or description is given that so many workers went on a strike in a particular factory, how many reported on duty as a result of any disturbance, how many industries were closed down, this type of explanation of data. This is known as descriptive explanation. For example, in the case of this latest, this Nepal earthquake, the data was given, then this many people got hurt. So many people, they were uh, without the home or they were affected. So many people died. This type of explanation of data, that is known as textual presentation. And this is only given in words along with the figures. But in statistics, we are not dealing in textual presentation because 